The Chad Basin is the largest endoric basin in Africa, centered on Lake Chad. It has no outlet to the sea and contains large areas of desert or semi-arid savanna. The drainage basin is roughly coterminous with the sedimentary basin of the same name, but extends further to the northeast and east. The basin spans seven countries, including most of Chad and a large part of Niger. The region has an ethnically diverse population of about 30 million people as of 2011, growing rapidly. A combination of dams, increased irrigation, climate change, and reduced rainfall are causing water shortages, contributing to terrorism and the rise of Boko Haram in the region. Lake Chad continues to shrink. Geology <inaudible> 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 The geological basin, which is smaller than the drainage basin, is a Phanerozoic sedimentary basin formed during the plate divergence that opened the South Atlantic Ocean. The basin lies between the West African Craton and Congo Craton, and formed around the same time as the Banu Trough. It covers an area of about 2,335,000 square kilometers (902,000 square miles). It merges into the Ialemedan Basin to the west at the Damargu Gap between the Air and Zinder Massifs. The floor of the basin is made of Precambrian bedrock covered by more than 3,600 meters (11,800 feet) of sedimentary deposits. The basin may have resulted from the intersection of an Air Chad Trough, running NWSE, and a Tibesti Cameroon Trough, running NE SW. That is, the two deepest parts are an extension of the Banu Trough that runs northeast to the margin of the basin, and another extension running from below the present lake to below the Tenere Rift structure to the east of the Air Massif. The southern part of the basin is underlain by another elongated depression. This runs in an Ean direction and extends from the Yola arm of the Banu Trough. At times, parts of the basin were below the sea. In the northeastern part of the Banu Trough where it enters the Chad Basin there are marine sediments from the late Cretaceous 100.5 to 66 Ma. These sediments seem to be considerably thicker towards the northeast. Boreholes under Maiduguri have found marine sediments 400 meters 1,300 feet deep, lying over continental sediments 600 meters 2,000 feet deep. The sea seems to have retreated from the western part of the basin in the Tyronean 93.5 to 89.3 Ma. In the Maastrichtian 72.1 to 66 Ma, the west was non-marine, but the southeast probably was still marine. No marine sediments have been found from the Paleocene 66 to 56 Ma. For most of the Quaternary, from 2.6 million years ago to the present, the basin seems to have been a huge, well-watered plain, with many rivers and water bodies, probably rich in plant and animal life. Towards the end of this period the climate became drier. Around 20,000 to 40,000 years ago, Aeolianite sand dunes began to form in the north of the basin. During the Holocene, from 11,000 years ago until recently, a giant, Lake Mega Chad, covered an area of more than 350,000 square kilometers 140,000 square miles in the basin. It would have drained to the Atlantic Ocean via the Banu River. Stratigraphic records show that Mega Chad varied in size as the climate changed, with a peak about 2,300 years ago. The remains of fish and mollusks from this period are found in what are now desert regions. Topic. Drainage basin extent. The Chad Basin covers almost 8% of the African continent, with an area of about 2,434,000 square kilometers square miles. It is ringed by mountains. The Air Mountains and the Termit Massif in Niger form the western boundary. To the northwest, in Algeria, are the Tassili Najer Mountains, including the 2,158 meters feet Jebel Azao. The Tibesti Mountains to the north of the basin include Emi Kusi, the highest mountain in the Sahara at 3,415 metres 11,204 feet. The Enidi Plateau lies to the northeast, rising to 1,450 metres 4,760 feet. The Wadai Highlands lies the east. They include the Mara Mountains in Darfur at up to 3,088 metres 10,131 feet in height. 
The Adamawa Plateau, Yosh Plateau, Biu Plateau, and Mandera Mountains lie to the south, to the west the basin is separated by a watershed from the Niger River, and to the south it is separated by a basement dome from the Banu River. Further east, watersheds separate it from the Congo Basin and the Nile. The lowest part of the basin is not Lake Chad, but the Bodele Depression, at a distance of 480 kilometers 300 miles to the northeast of the lake. The Bodele Depression is just 155 meters 509 feet above sea level in its deepest portion, while the surface of Lake Chad is 275 meters 902 feet above sea level. The basin spans parts of seven countries. These are topic. Climate and ecology Topic. The northern half of the basin is desert, containing the Tenere Desert, Erg of Bilma and Jarab Desert. South of that is the Sahel Zone, dry savanna and thorny shrub savanna. The main rivers include riparian forests, flooding savannas and wetland areas. In the far south there are dry forests. Rainfall varies widely from year to year. The amount of annual rainfall is very low in the north of the basin, rising to 1,200 mm in, in the south. As late as 2000, the basin has remained home to large populations of wildlife. In the Sahel these include antelopes such as the Attix and Dama gazelle, and in the savanna there are Corrigum and red-fronted gazelle. The black-crowned crane and other waterbirds are found in the wetlands. There are populations of elephants, giraffes, and lions. The western black rhinoceros was once common but is now extinct. Elephants almost became extinct by the end of the 19th century due to European and American demand for ivory, but stocks have since recovered. <laughs> Water resources Rivers <inaudible> 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 The seasonal Korama River in the south of Niger does not reach Lake Chad. Nigeria includes two sub-basins that drain into Lake Chad. The Hadijia, Jama, R. Yobi sub-basin in the north contains the Hadijia and Jama. Our rivers, which supply the 6,000 square kilometers 2,300 square miles Hadijia Nuru wetlands. They converge to form the Yobi, which defines the border between Niger and Nigeria for 300 kilometers (190 miles), flowing into Lake Chad. About 0.5 cubic kilometers (0.12 cu mi) of water reaches Lake Chad annually. Construction of upstream dams and growth in irrigation have reduced water flow, and the floodplains are drying up. The Yedsarim, Nada sub basin further south is fed by the Yedsarim River and Nada River, which join to form a 80 square kilometers 31 square miles swamp to the southwest of the lake. There is no significant water flow from the swamp to the lake. The Central African Republic Car contains the sources of the Chari and Lagan rivers, which flow north into the lake. The volume of water entering Chad annually from the car has fallen from about 33 cubic kilometers (7.9 cu mi) before the 1970s to 17 cubic kilometers (4.1 cu mi) in the 1980s. A further 3 cubic kilometers (0.72 cu mi) to 7 cubic kilometers (1.7 cu mi) of water annually flows from Cameroon into Chad via the Lagan River. The Chari Lagan system accounts for about 95% of the water entering Lake Chad. Topic: <inaudible> Aquifers. Topic: The basin in the Nigerian section contains an upper aquifer of early Pleistocene alluvial deposits that are often covered by recent sand dunes, varying in thickness from 15 to 100 meters (49 to 328 feet). It consists of interbedded sands, clays and silts, with discontinuous clay lenses. The aquifer recharges from runoff and rainfall. The local people access the water with hand-dug wells and shallow boreholes, and use it for domestic use, growing vegetables and watering their livestock. Below this aquifer, separated from it by a sequence of gray to bluish gray clays from the Zanklin, is a second aquifer at a depth of 240 to 380 meters, 790 to 1250 feet. Due to heavy pumping, since the start of the 1980s the water levels in both aquifers has been lowered, and some wells no longer function. 
There is a third, much lower, aquifer in Bima sandstones that lies at a depth of 2,700 to 4,600 meters (8,900 to 15,100 feet). Topic: <inaudible> Oil and gas resources. Topic: Both the current and historical areas of the basin and the mega basin contain concentrations of fossils. Fossil fuels deposits in the area are estimated to exceed a trillion barrels in reserves. Management The Lake Chad Basin Commission was set up in 1964 by Cameroon, Chad, Niger and Nigeria, the four countries that contain parts of Lake Chad. About 20% of the basin, lying in these countries, is called the conventional basin. The Lake Chad Basin Commission manages use of water and other natural resources in this area. Although the lake fluctuates considerably in size from one year to another, the general trend has been for water levels to drop. There has been a proposal to supply water from the Congo Basin via a canal 2,400 kilometres long. But major political, technical, and economic challenges would have to be overcome to make this practical. People History Humans have lived in the Inner Chad Basin from at least 8,000 years ago, and were engaging in agriculture and livestock management around the lake by 1000 BC. Permanent villages were established to the south of the lake by 500 BC at the start of the Iron Age. The Chad Basin contained important trade routes to the east and to the north across the Sahara. By the 5th century AD camels were being used for trans-Saharan trade via the Fasan, or to the east via Darfur, where slaves and ivory were exchanged for salt, horses, glass beads, and, later, firearms. After the Arabs took over North Africa in the 7th and 8th centuries, the Chad Basin became increasingly linked to the Muslim world. Trade and improved agricultural techniques supported more sophisticated societies, leading to the early kingdoms of the Kanem Empire, the Wadai Empire, and the Sultanate of Bagarmi. Kanem rose in the 8th century in the region to the north and east of Lake Chad. The Saifuwa dynasty that ruled this kingdom had adopted Islam by the 12th century. The Kanem Empire went into decline, shrank, and in the 14th century was defeated by Balala invaders from the Lake Fitri region. The Kanori people led by the Saifuwa migrated to the west and south of the lake, where they established the Bornu Empire. By the late 16th century the Bornu Empire had expanded and recaptured the parts of Kanem that had been conquered by the Balala. Satellite states of Bornu included the Sultanate of Damagaram in the west and Bagarmi to the southeast of Lake Chad. The Tunjur people founded the Wadai Empire to the east of Bornu in the 16th century. In the 17th century, the Maba people revolted and established a Muslim dynasty. At first, Wadai paid tribute to Bornu and Durfur, but by the 18th century Wadai was fully independent and had become an aggressor against its neighbors. To the west of Bornu, by the 15th century the Kingdom of Kano had become the most powerful of the Hausa kingdoms, in an unstable truce with the Kingdom of Katsina to the north. Both of these states adopted Islam in the 15th and 16th centuries. Both were absorbed into the Sokoto Caliphate during the Fulani War of 1805, which threatened Bornu itself. During the Berlin Conference in 1884 85, Africa was carved up between the European colonial powers, defining boundaries that are largely intact with today's post colonial states. On 5 August 1890 the British and French concluded an agreement to clarify the boundary between French West Africa and what would become Nigeria. A boundary was agreed along a line from Say on the Niger to Berua on Lake Chad, but leaving the Sokoto Caliphate in the British sphere. Parfait Louis Montile was given charge of an expedition to discover where this line actually ran. On 9 April 1892 he reached Kakawa on the shore of the lake. Over the next 20 years a large part of the Chad Basin was incorporated by treaty or by force into French West Africa. On 2 June 1909 the Wadai capital of Abéché was occupied by the French. The remainder of the basin was divided by the British in Nigeria who took Kano in 1903, and the Germans in Cameroon. 
The countries of the basin regained their independence between 1956 and 1962, retaining the colonial administrative boundaries. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Population. Topic: As of 2011, over 30 million people lived in the Chad basin. The population is growing rapidly. Ethnic groups include Kanori, Maba, Buduma, Hausa, Kanembu, Katoko, Bagar, Haddad, Kuri, Fulani and Manga. The largest cities are Kano and Maiduguri in Nigeria, Marwa in Cameroon, N'Djamena in Chad and Diffa in Niger. Economy <inaudible> 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 The main economic activities are farming, herding and fishing. At least 40% of the rural population of the basin lives in poverty and routinely face chronic food shortages. Crop production based on rain is possible only in the southern belt. Flood recession agriculture is practiced around Lake Chad and in the riverine wetlands. Nomadic herders migrate with their animals into the grasslands of the northern part of the basin for a few weeks during each short rainy season, where they intensively graze the highly nutritious grasses. When the dry season starts they move back south, either to grazing lands around the lakes and floodplains, or to the savannas further to the south. In the 2001 period, fisheries in the Lake Chad Basin provided food and income to more than 10 million people, with a harvest of about 70,000 tons. Fisheries have traditionally been managed by a system where each village has recognized rights over a defined part of the river, wetland or lake, and fishers from elsewhere must seek permission and pay a fee to use this area. The governments only enforced rules and regulations to a limited extent. Fishery management practices vary. For example, on the Katagam River in Jigawa State, Nigeria, a village will have a water management council that collects a portion of each fisherman's catch and redistributes it among the villagers, or sells it and used the proceeds for communal projects. Local governments and traditional authorities are increasingly engaged in rent-seeking, collecting license fees with the help of the police or army. References Topic. Notes Citations Sources <laughs>